Welcome to The Buzz. We've got an exciting show lined up for you today. We'll have a financial aid expert from Polk State College join us today, and we even stop by one of the local campuses to see what they have to say about financial aid. So all that coming up on The Buzz. The Buzz with Albert Rodriguez. Featuring Ron Shetta Howe. And now, your host, Albert Rodriguez. Welcome back to our show. We've got a special guest on today. Uh, she is a financial aid expert from Polk State College. Uh, I would like to welcome Miss Ronzetta Howell to our show. So, why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Um, basically, um, my name is Ronchetta Howell. I've been working at Polk State College for uh, 10 years. Um, I started off as a cashier and then I moved to the financial aid um, department, um, which is also you know, known as the uh, Office of Student Financial Services. Do you like, the, you like working there? I do. I do. I love servicing students. Um, I've started and um, worked in many capacities. I first started as um, a processor where I, where I um, assisted students, um, giving them information on um, how to fund their education. Um, then I started as a um, supervisor and I moved to the Lakeland campus for a couple of years and now I'm back at the um, Winter Haven campus assisting students in our special programs. Oh, that's pretty sweet. You know, I actually go to the Lakeland campus myself as a part-time student, although I haven't really been to the Winter Haven campus. Why don't you tell me what, it, what that's like? Um, that's the main campus. Um, it used to be the largest campus, but I think the enrollment has increased um, on the Lakeland campus. Um, most of all the administrators and, um, you know, pretty much both campuses are the same as far as it, what it offers students. Um, but I enjoy both campuses. I actually worked on the Winter Haven before, campus before I went to the Lakeland campus. Oh, sweet. Sweet, sweet. Um, how about, do um, you know a little bit about the new aerospace program they've got, right? Um, I do the financial aid part of it, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. How old is that program? I have a bunch of students. I have a couple friends that are in it, but they haven't told me how old it is, and I was um, really interested in it at one point. Um, actually, um, I think it's two years. This is our second year in the program. Um, that program is um, constantly uh, growing. Um, I can't remember. I don't know exactly how many students are in the program, but um, it's, it's growing. Sweet. Now, uh, are you a native of Florida, or did you move here from somewhere else? Um, I've been in Florida all my life. I live in um, Lake Wales, so yes. You see, attended I'm, Lake Wales High School, so. <laughs> sweet. Mm -hmm. See, I'm a, I'm a snowbird. I, I come from New York. I mean, I was born in Puerto Rico, mm -hmm. like, but I left when I was like three years old, and then I went to New York. Then I moved down here when I was like nine, something like that. Was it nine or ten? I don't really know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so. Can you tell us a little bit about the the students uh, at, at the Winter Haven campus? Like, uh, do you do you notice a difference between the Lakeland campus and the Winter Haven campus in terms of the students? Um, not really. Um, you know, the students have their preference on which campus they would like to attend. Um, so that's pretty much, you know, up to the students, you know, which campus they want to attend, I guess, based on the, the classes that they want to take. So they, they have different classes at both campuses, like? Um, pretty much all the gen eds are the same, um, but like our satellite campuses like aerospace, they um, you know have those special programs out there. Um, cardiology, radiology, those um, AS degree programs are located on the um, aerospace campus, I mean the air side campus. Hmm. See, I, I did not know that. I just. I just thought it was all the same because I just go to the uh, mm -hmm. to the Lakeland campus. I've been going there for about four years now as a part-time student. Mm -hmm. I kind of like it. Mm -hmm. um, in Winter Haven, most of our um, like the law enforcement, the <coughs> nursing classes. So it all depends on what programs the students are pursuing. Um, once they you know actually get accepted into their programs, it depends on what campus they they take those core classes. At. Oh, that makes sense. You said law enforcement, right? Mm -hmm. That, that makes sense because I think Grady Judd, our, our current sheriff, actually went to Polk State. Mm -hmm. I think he graduated here. Yes, he did. Yeah, so that makes sense. Mm -hmm. So what if I told you we actually went to um, a campus uh, and uh, we asked students about financial aid mm -hmm. and we got some pretty mixed results. Would you be interested in seeing 
Yes. Those those uh, replies. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, we got a big screen in the back over here. Uh, would you happen to know what a FAFSA is by any chance? Isn't it like financial FAFSA, financial aid? I think she understands it. How are you doing today, buddy? I'm doing great. How are you? Have you ever heard of a FAFSA by any chance? Uh, fast up? No, sir. FAFSA? FAFSA? No, sir. Hey, what's up, man? How are you doing? I'm doing amazing. You liking the weather out here? Yeah, I am. It's pretty good. <laughs> now, I got an awesome question to ask you. Have you ever heard of a FAFSA? Yes, I have, but I don't know what it is. Well, it's financial aid. Have you ever heard of a FAFSA by any chance? I think I have. You think you have? Yes, it sounds familiar. All right, how you guys doing? Good, good. How are you? Oh, I'm just a little warm. It's kind of sunny outside. I got a couple interesting questions to ask you guys. Uh, have you ever heard of a FAFSA by any chance? I've heard of it before for um, student aid. All right. That's all I know about it. I don't have it. I've heard of it, but I don't really know what it is. Do you happen to know what a FAFSA is? Uh, federal student aid. Do you know the difference between student grants and loans? Not exactly, no. <laughs> Not exactly, no? Oh, all right. What's up? Uh, nothing much, just chilling with my friends. That's awesome. Hey, I got some amazing questions to ask you. Do you know what a FAFSA is? Yes, it's what I had to fill out at the beginning of this semester to get financial aid next semester. How's it going? I'm great. You? I'm doing amazing. Hey, I got some awesome questions to ask you. You ready? I'm ready. All right, that's awesome to hear. Do you know what a FAFSA is? Yeah, that's the um, government check that you get. Your refund check. All righty, bud. How's it going? Good. How about you? I'm I'm doing awesome. It's pretty warm out here, don't you think? Yep. Now, I got some awesome questions to ask you. Are you ready? Yes, sir. All right. Do you know what the FAFSA is? Yes, sir. Have you ever heard of a Pell Grant? No. I haven't. Have you ever heard of a Pell Grant? I have not. Have you ever heard of a Pell Grant? Yes, I have. Have you ever looked into it by any chance? Yes, I have. Have you ever heard of a Pell Grant? Yeah, yeah. Have you guys heard of a Pell Grant? Mm -mm. I've heard of that before, too. I don't know anything about it, though. Uh, do you know what a Pell Grant is? I've heard of it, but I have no earthly idea what it is. Well, if you were to qualify for such a grant, uh, would you be willing to look into it? Uh, yes, I would. I mean, it's free money. You got to look into it. Yeah, just unless it's just a couple bucks, then. Oh, but did you know that the average is 3200 Then yes. Yes, I would look into that. And did you know the government last year gave about $32 billion? Just free money? You don't have to pay it back or anything? Just did not know that in the slightest. Aren't you interested now? A bit, yeah. And do you know what a Pell Grant is? Pell Grant is what allows me to come to school. <laughs> it's the money I get uh, every year or so that's split up among two semesters. So I'm pretty sure you know what the difference is between a grant and a loan, right? Loans you have to pay back. The grant you do not have to pay back. Do you guys know the difference between a loan and a grant? Yeah, the loan you would have to pay back, the grant you don't. Do you know what a Pell Grant is? Well, that's a grant that you get. Um, some people get it for hardships, and others just get it, you know, is awarded. Now, do you know the difference between a grant and a loan? A grant you don't have to pay back, and a loan you do. Do you know what a Pell Grant is? No. Do you know what a Pell Grant is? Oh, uh, yes, sir. Have you thought about looking into financial aid by any chance? It's come, yeah, it's come across my mind. Have you looked into it? Not exactly looked into it, no. Why not? I'm a junior, so I still have a year to go. What if I told you that uh, the government gave away $32 billion away in free money that people don't have to pay back, and that the average student got about $3,200? Oh, I'd be pretty mad. I'd be pretty mad. Why would you be mad? Uh, because there's a lot of students right now that need more scholarships, honestly, because overall there's less students wanting to come to college or, and universities because they don't have the money to do it. So I believe that if they threw, they just basically threw away 300, what do you say, how much was it? $32 billion. $32 billion and they barely gave us any. So I would say that they need to look out more for the future of America instead of what already is America. So you're saying focus on the primary target group? Yes, focus on the youth, basically. Hmm. Last year, the government spent $32 billion in giving away free money to students and each student got an average about 3200 That would be pretty fantastic, I guess. I mean, that's for us, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's fantastic. What if I told you there are $32 billion every year 
on average given to students and about 3200 per student. That's a lot of money. <laughs> now what if I told you that the government last year gave away 32 billion dollars in free money to students and and the average student got like 3200. Wow that's awesome. Wouldn't you want some of that free money? Of course I would. So you're gonna look into it? Of course. What if I told you the government gave away last year 32 billion dollars of free cash to students and the average student got 3200 would you be interested in looking into it then yeah <laughs> i would because i love free money you love free money yeah i love free money so you guys know that uh the government gave about 32 billion dollars last year in federal aid for just straight up free money for students and the average student got 3200 dollars mm -mm, i didn't know that wait that's federal aid or that's a grant or it's a loan what is that federal aid, federal aid. so they don't have to pay it back or they do they don't have to pay back. No, I did not know that. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? Yeah. It'd be more I awesome if we had some of it. So you guys like free money, huh? Yeah. yeah. Me too. Would you be surprised to know that the U.S. government gave $32 billion last year in free money that no one had to pay back? That is actually an impressive amount of money. <laughs> and did you know the average was 3200 per student? I did not know that, actually. Now, would you be surprised if I told you the U.S. government last year gave $32 billion out in grant money? Free money you have to pay back. No, I say thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and would you be surprised if the average student got about $3,200? They do? Well, I, I guess I'm doing something wrong in my classroom. <laughs> <laughs> if you could qualify, would you be interested? Of course. Now, what if I told you the government gave about $32 billion away in grant money, which is money you don't have to pay back, just free money, to students? and that the average student got $3,200. Would you be interested in looking into that type of aid? Yeah. If you qualified, would you take it? Yeah. Now, if you could qualify for such a grant, uh, would you be interested in looking in it? Yes, sir. How you doing today, sir? I'm excellent, how are you? I am awesome. I mean, it's pretty warm, but I'm doing great. So I got some awesome questions to ask you. You ready? I'm ready. All righty. Uh, do you think your students are know about uh, FAFSA and financial aid just in general? You think they have a good concept of it? I'm not sure. Can you say they have a good concept? I think they understand the process. I think they understand what federal aid is. I'm not sure that they understand all the requirements for aid. Of course, our goal is to continue to work with students so they understand all of the necessary information they need to know about the process and what the process entails. And do you think they should all look into it? I think every student should look into financial aid. And one of the reasons is the way that the federal government system is set up is that you start with financial aid and whether you uh, is actually um, uh, given the opportunity to be awarded aid or not, it is actually a movement or a step towards other uh, aids that's available in colleges and universities. You seem to know what you're talking about, sir. Well, thank you so much. What if I told you that the government gave away $32 billion nationwide mm -hmm. in free grants to students and that the average student got $3,200. Would you be surprised or do you know? I wouldn't be surprised at all. And one of the reasons that is, is some of the best actually uh, uh, assistance available. Still, there are many students that don't know the process or know how to apply for them. Our goal is to continue to do workshops through the community through our churches, through our schools, to make students aware of the process. And again, I'm certainly aware of the low number of students that are applying for aid and receiving aid. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I like free money. I love free money. I love free money. I do enjoy free money. I love free money. I love free money. I love free money, too. I like free money. <laughs> <laughs> so did, um, did any of those re responses surprise you or did you expect them? Well, um, I expected some of them. Um, you know, that is our goal is to um, educate our students on the financial aid process, what they need to do um, to apply for as much free money as they can. Um, we do, you know, um, go out and speak to students who take our um, SLS, our college success class. Um, you know, informing them um, and trying to educate them on what's available to help um, fund their education. Sweet. Well, I've got a couple questions that some students would ask on average, and I'm just going to start lobbying a bunch of them at you. Okay. So uh, could you explain what a FAFSA is? 
Well, uh, FAFSA stands for Free Application for Federal Student Aid. It's the um, first process in applying for financial aid, and um, basically they complete the FAFSA at the uh, www.fafsa.gov, and um, that's the first step in the financial aid process. All right, and uh, when should a student begin to fill out their FAFSA? Um, the application is available January 1st of every year. Uh, students do have to uh, renew the application. It's available um, annually. Um, it does require uh, parents' 2013, uh, 2014 tax information for this year's um, application. And um, we do offer uh, workshops at Polk State College to assist students in completing their FAFSA application. So why, why do students need to have their parents' tax info when filing? Well, um, there, when you complete the application, uh, there's uh, questions that determines whether a student is independent or dependent. So based on those questions, the student has to be at least 24 years of age. Um, it asks them if they're married, if they've um, obtained a, a, a master's degree, a professional degree. Um, and there's other questions on the application that determines whether the student parent information is required. So, um, you know, in some student cases, um, they can't provide parental information. Um, and we encourage students to just check with their financial aid department on um, special circumstances if they're not um, unable to provide parental information. Well, uh, what, what is a Pell Grant? We were talking about fast foods, but what, what is a Pell Grant? Um, it's free money from the government. Um, it's obtained by completing the FAFSA application. Um, this year here, the maximum amount that a student can be awarded is um, $5,730. Um, so basically, it's free money from the government if the student qualifies. And I heard you say they can get that grant also by filling out their FAFSA. Mm -hmm. That's excellent. FAFSA is also known as the <laughs> Pell Grant. Just another name for what Just we call it. Just another name. Yep. All right. Uh, what is the difference between a loan aid and grants? Um, loans is money you have to, that have to be repaid. Um, basically there's two types of loans. There's a subsidized portion and an unsub portion. Um, the subsidized portion is the best portion. Uh, the interest is deferred while the student is enrolled in classes. Um, they have to be enrolled in at least six or more credit hours and the interest is deferred as long as the student um, does not withdraw below that six credit hour requirement. The um, unsub portion uh, actually occurs interest while the student is in school. So one portion, uh, the interest is deferred while you're in school. The other portion, the interest occurs while you're in school. As far as repayment, nothing is required until you know six months after the student uh, graduates or fall less than half time. All right, uh, now here's an interesting question. What what happens if a student defaults on their loan? Um, basically, if a student uh, defaults on their loan, that means that they haven't been um, making the required payments. Um, there's no reason a student should default. There's uh, many repayment options available for students. Um, we also try to educate our students or who are loan borrowers on those uh, repayment options. Um, all they have to do is just call and um, you know the federal government they will work with them regarding whatever their circumstance is. It could be a financial hardship um, you know but Basically, what the students have to do is they have to make either six or nine consecutive payments to get out of that default status before they become eligible for federal funding again. All righty. Uh, let's say you're a college student and you need some extra cash for your classes. Where could a student go to find scholarships? Um, basically, the bulk of the scholarships that um, at Polk State College are offered through our foundation department, and that application process is available February 1st to March 15th of every year. Um, so all students have an opportunity to apply for scholarships. Um, if they're selected, funding starts August of the following year. Um, we also encourage students, especially the high school students, to work closely with their uh, guidance counselor on scholarships available. Um, there's Polk Education Foundation. Um, there's other uh, general scholarship websites where they can search their, research their own scholarships by putting in a um, keyword to um, pull up scholarships related to their field of interest. Um, and pretty much just applying for as many scholarships as, as they can. Um, 
Now, let's say you're a high school student. Mm -hmm. um, I know Polk State, or at least I think I know this, Polk State um, has a different, uh, how do I say this? Uh, the, the Bright Futures helps out a little more when you're going to Polk State, as mm -hmm. in it pays more of your tuition. But I'm not exactly sure, so could you explain to us what, uh, what Bright Futures really is and how it helps students going specifically to a community college? Yes. Um, Bright Futures is a scholarship the student is awarded their um, 12th grade year in high school. So they start meeting and um, requirements starting their 11th grade year, their junior year in high school. Um, once they are awarded the scholarship, that information is sent directly to their school of choice. And um, basically with Bright Futures, which is um, a tuition scholarship, um, it pays a flat rate cost based on um, the scholarship that the student is awarded. There's three levels. There's the academic scholar, the Florida medallion, and the um, gold seal. So there's three different awards. And so basically if a student is awarded that, then more scholarships the students have, then it could possibly, um, you know, cause them to receive a reimbursement, get paid money back to them. Uh, could you perhaps go into a little bit more detail for the different types? You said the golden seal, the medallion. Mm -hmm. um, basically the academic scholar and the, um, the Florida medallion, they pay uh, $63 per credit hour, that's as of, um, June 30th of this year. Um, the new regulations haven't been determined as far as what those rates will be for the upcoming year. And then the gold seal pays uh, $53 per credit hour. Um, the gold seal scholar, uh, those students have to be enrolled in, um, in seeking um, an AS degree or certificate or a technical diploma. Um, they can't be seeking um, AA degrees or a bachelor level degrees with the gold sealed award. All right, and uh, is there a GPA requirement for Bright Futures? Because some high school students may not know that. Um, college level, yes, and those students um, receive that information. Um, there's information on our website um, regarding all federal student aid, and those are I. Um, our financial aid TVs, where we have something similar to the video we watched um, that answers um, everyday questions for students uh, regarding federal student aid, Bright Futures loans. Um, a lot of students were trying to uh, educate them as well as to let them know that those uh, TV events are out there um, to help answer questions as well. So the sources are there, they just need to know where to look. Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. um, I've got a very lighthearted question for you. Mm -hmm. uh, was interested in knowing what's your favorite color? Purple. Purple, really? Yes. The color of royalty. <laughs> yes. That's that's pretty nice. Uh, my girlfriend's color is also purple. Purple, so yes, I love purple. A lot of people seem to like purple. Mine is, mine's blue and green. Blue and green. You got to have two. <laughs> yeah, I have to have two. I like blue because it's blue, and I like green because well, I like money. Yeah. So. <laughs> That makes sense. Um, is there anything else uh, you would like to, if you could, um, for any college students watching this, is there anything you would like to be able to inform them on? Um, as far as um, the financial aid process, um, they do need to um, file your FAFSA early. Um, they need to know their school um, process of whichever school they plan on attending. They also need to follow up with the financial aid um, office uh, regarding deadlines as well as the school's deadlines. And um, as pl apply for as many scholarships as they can. If they have any questions, make sure they ask. Um, a lot of schools have um, information available on the websites, um, but we also um, try to you know, educate the students with um, free workshops that we we have for the community. We have them for the campus, inviting students to come to the campus, as well as we go out to the high schools and, um, you know, present the information as well. Well, I just want to thank you for the information you provided us, and thank you for coming on the show. And You're uh, welcome, and thank you for the invite. All right, and uh, we'll be headed out to a commercial break, and when we come back, there'll be a new segment, so stick around. All right, I know this isn't any fun to talk about, but we should. Okay, so who's gonna do what? I'll pack the dead batteries. Great. I'll only put what I don't need into a duffel bag. Perfect, that's totally unhelpful. No problem. 
Meanwhile, I will try to comfort everyone by speaking in a calm voice. And I'll try to get the generator going without any gas. Oh, let's not forget the cell phones, which probably won't work. Right. And who is going to handle supplies? I can forget to do a list for us. Thanks, pal. Well, I think we couldn't be any less prepared. I'm proud of you guys. Talk to your kids about who to call, where to meet, what to pack. Visit ready.gov slash kids for tips and information. That's my daughter. There are rules and there are roles. Discover yours at alerttodayflorida.com. Did you know kids who play outdoors have healthier lungs? Totally. I did. Did you know that boys that play with dolls make better husbands? My son has lots of dolls. But did you know terry cloth diapers breathe better? I did. Mm -hmm. It's totally true. Oh, yeah, yeah. Did you know that strollers have the right of way on the sidewalk? Yes. Yep, I did. Did you guys Did know? you know that kids who eat breakfast have higher GPAs? Yeah, I know. Okay. Yeah. That's actually what I was going to say. Did you know babies should never touch silver? It's really bad for them. I knew that. Did you guys know that statistically friendly kids have more friends? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's obvious. Did you know most people think they're using the right car seat for their kid, but they're not? Parents who really know it all know for sure that their child is in the right seat at the right age and size. Visit safercar.gov slash the right seat to make sure your child is protected. I'm putting that on my blog. I just put it in mine. Welcome back. It's time for our new segment of the show. So get ready to learn what's going on. In the month of April, we had three presidential candidates declare their candidacy for the office of the presidency. Those candidates were Rand Paul, Marco Rubio, and Hillary Clinton. Also in the state of Florida, Governor Rick Scott signed a bill that is going to limit standardized testing for public schools. So if you're a high school student, that may be a bit of good news for you. With regards to local news, the city of Lakeland is seeking to charter a jet aircraft service for Lakeland Linder Airport. The service is said to be provided hopefully by June or October. And it is said to be provided by a Miami-based jet service named Falcon Air. Also, Frostproof just recently elected a new mayor. That's right, Rolf Waters is the new mayor of Frostproof. Last but not least, the county commission voted to end the moratorium on impact fees, meaning those building a new house may pay a little bit more for their new homes. However, these new funds collected by the impact fee would go a long way to help local fire stations, emergency medical services, and schools. Now that you know what's going on, it's time to know what's being said. And that brings us to the word of the day, which happens to be anti-disestablishmentarianism, <laughs> which means opposition to the removal of a state-established religion. Now that we're finished with our news, you can catch replays of the buzz right here on PGTV, or you can check out all of our episodes on YouTube or on polk-county.net. So I want to thank you for joining us today, and you have a great day. Hope to see you soon. <laughs>